traveling by sea has always carried an element of risk. Accidents, human error, harsh weather, and military actions are just a few of the things that could send a ship to the bottom. Many military ships are sunk every year. So what about this year? How many of these military ships were sunk this year? Today we'll present the list of all the military shipwrecks of 2022. Hetman. She was a Ukrainian Navy frigate that was built at Kerch Shipyard as a patrol ship of the Nere Krivak III Mazinsky class. She was commissioned on April 2, 1993. Home ported at Odessa since March 2014, she was the flagship of the Ukrainian Navy. During the Russian invasion of Ukraine in 2022, the ship was sunk in Mykolaiv. On March 3, 2022, a photograph surfaced showing Hetman partially submerged and with a list to port. On March 4, Ukraine's defense minister confirmed that Hetman's ship had been sunk in order to prevent her capture by Russian forces. According to the satellite imagery, it possibly happened on 28 February 2022. Ukrainian patrol vessel Sloviansk P-190 This was an island-class patrol boat of the Ukrainian naval force. When it was in service with the United States Coast Guard, the vessel was known as the USCGC Cushing. It was purchased by Ukraine in 2018. Sloviansk was conducting reconnaissance and patrol missions around the port cities of Odessa, Kornomorsk, and Yuzhny on March 3, 2022, following Russia's declaration of special military operation. During this time, a Russian KH-31 anti-ship missile is said to have sunk the ship. The crew's fate is still unknown. Donbass She is a former Soviet repair ship that has been converted into a Ukrainian Navy command ship. The ship was regarded as the most durable and they were actively used in military campaigns beginning in the early 1970s. During the Russian invasion of Ukraine in 2022, Donbass was engulfed in heavy smoke in the port of Mariupol, indicating that the ship was likely hit according to satellite images published on 6 April 2022. On 16 April 2022, Ukrainian Defense Ministry confirmed that the ship was destroyed during the siege of Mariupol. Moskva Moskva was a Russian Navy-guided missile cruiser. She was the lead ship of the Project 1164 Atlant class, named after the city of Moscow, and was commissioned in 1983. Moskva, the Russian Black Sea Fleet's flagship, assisted in leading the naval assault during the Russian invasion of Ukraine in 2022 from February to April. At the time, she was the most powerful surface vessel in the Black Sea region. In the late hours of April 13, 2022, Ukrainian presidential adviser Alexei Arestovich reported that Moskva was on fire, and Odessa Governor Maxim Marchenko stated that their forces had attacked Moskva with two R-360 Neptune anti-ship missile. Moskva is the largest warship to be sunk in combat since the ARA General Belgrano in the 1982 Falkland War and the largest Russian warship to be sunk since World War II. The Cerna class Russian designation Project 1177E, this is a class of air cavity system landing craft constructed for the Russian Navy. This class first entered service in 1994. Twelve boats were built by Vostoshnaya Verf between 1994 and 2014. Four boats of the expert Project 11771 were built in 1994. A Cerner class vessel stationed at Snake Island during the 2022 Russian invasion of Ukraine was destroyed when the island was attacked by a Ukrainian Bayraktar TB2 drone on May 6, 2022. Project 58181 Centaur DSHK-1 Stanislav She is a Ukrainian fast assault craft of the Centaur class launched in 2018. The ship, which was developed as a replacement for the Gyrza M-class gunboats, has the capacity to land an amphibious infantry platoon sized battalion for beach assaults. According to Major General Igor Konoshenkov, the military department spokesman, Russian planes destroyed the assault ship near Snake Island in the Black Sea on May 8, 2022, along with a number of Ukrainian jets and helicopters, according to a report from the Russian news agency TASS. Raptor-class patrol boat 
The Project 03160 designated Raptor class patrol boats are a line of fast coastal patrol boats made in Russia. Boats of the class belong to the fourth rank ships in the Russian Navy. During the 2022 Russian invasion of Ukraine, at least five Raptor class patrol boats were clearly documented as having been destroyed or damaged. On March 21, 2022, one boat of the Raptor class was lost, followed by two on May 2nd, one on May 7th, and one on May 9th. From a pre-war estimate of eight units, by 9th May, the overall number of Raptor losses amounted to five, leaving three operational with the Black Sea Fleet. USS Rodney M. Davis FFG-60 The USS Rodney M. Davis FFG-60 was a guided missile frigate of the Oliver Hazard Perry class in the U.S. Navy. About 50 nautical miles northwest of Kauai, Hawaii, a decommissioned Oliver Hazard Perry class guided missile frigate was sunk as a part of the international exercise Rim of the Pacific 2022. She was hit July 12, 2022 by Paveway laser-guided bombs dropped by U.S. Navy F-A-18EF Super Hornet and United States Marine Corps F-35C Lightning II aircraft operating from the aircraft carrier USS Abraham Lincoln U.S. Canadian, Australian, and Malaysian aircraft all attacked the target, sinking her in 15,000 feet or 4,600 meters of water in the Pacific Ocean. USS Denver LPD-9 She belonged to the U.S. Navy's Austin class of amphibious transport docks. In conjunction with the International Exercise Rim of the Pacific 2022, Denver was sunk on July 22, 2022, about 50 nautical miles northwest of Kauai, Hawaii, during a sinking exercise. She was hit by U.S. Navy F-A-18F Super Hornet's long-range anti-ship missile, United States Army AH-64 Apache helicopters shot air-to-ground Hellfire missiles, rockets and 30mm guns, and United States Marine Corps F-A-18CD Hornet's fired AGM-88 AJRM missiles followed by a Harpoon AGM-84 missile and JDAMs. She was also shelled by USS Chafee with its Mark 45 5-inch gun and Japanese Self-Defense Force Type 12 surface-to-ship missile and the U.S. Army High Mobility Artillery Rocket System, sinking her in 15,000 feet or 4,600 meters of water in the Pacific Ocean. And with this, the buzz is signing off for today. Thank you guys for viewing in. Bye-bye.